upon a lofty throne, I saw men seated, whom I had hosts and angels adore, singing in the unison. Behold him, the name of his empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Amen. 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 Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion, in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation. And I said, I have, they have always been of erring heart and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ, if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Our responsorial psalm. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God. And we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, on that day you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at Nirva, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. Forty years I was wearied of that generation, and I said, This people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore, I swore in my anger, They shall never enter my rest. And today you hear his voice. Harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, and that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. 
He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday we spoke about how the author to the letter to the Hebrews really is fundamental in this groundbreaking of theology, the original study of God as it begins in the beginning because so much of what he writes, you sit back and you go, wow, that's so profound. And it opens up a great study of what he's saying. And today he uh, added to what he had said yesterday by making the connection of people in his day, people in our day, to the Jews who are traveling through the wilderness with Moses. And he speaks about an incident, the testing at the waters of Meribah and Massah, which led up to that was the people are thirsty. They're complaining about their dying of thirst in the wilderness. And this is the same group of people who has witnessed the uh, plagues of Egypt. They've witnessed the Red Sea. Uh, they've witnessed a bunch of miraculous things, the cloud, the pillar of fire. My God, they've seen so much. And yet they're there questioning if God can do what he says he can do through uh, his leader, his chosen one, Moses. And Moses is, uh, honestly, as anyone would be, as you would be as parents, if you tell your kid the same thing repeatedly, don't you ever get tired and want to look at him and say, look, it! I told you this one time, I told you this a thousand times. It ain't changed since the last eight times you asked me the same question. You would never say that to your kid, but I'm sure you probably in your head would have that moment of thought. And that's where Moses is at that point. He gets frustrated with the people. And what the author to Hebrews is saying is, are we like the children of Israel at that moment? Have we seen miraculous things that we've become so brazen to the miraculous that it no longer affects us. I, I, I think that that is a valid question that we could all ask of ourselves because people say if only God would do a miracle, then I would. If only we had divine intervention, then I would. Y'all, confession seems ordinary, right? It's a miracle that God would choose to grant his power to a priest, a man, who could say the words of Jesus, I absolve you, and your sins are forgiven. If you want your sins forgiven, in the sense that the priest could tell you, I absolve you, but if you're not willing to forgive, then even God can't move that type of mountain. Uh, or what we'll do here when, when the words of uh, consecration, this is my body given up to, given for you. Uh, are we no longer moved by that miracle to the point where we're looking for some grandiose emotional experience? We miss that. Has, has our hearts become hardened as at the waters of Meribah and Massah when we challenge God? Yeah, I've seen the miracles, but do something else. Do something more. Are we in that stage? Hebrews asked that question of the people then, and it's still valid for us in our day. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you.
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Come as one family in faith. Let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for those who are sick, suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray for the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray for the Lord. Lord, and we pray for the repose of the soul of Patrick Reed Kelly, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray for the Lord. Lord Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. May you bless those oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to be made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, the incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you all the people stretched out of time to see endure his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Your redeemer, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by putting down in this spirit upon them like the big ball, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he drew willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. 
did this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. After Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and we shall not have any temptation, but for the Lord's house of heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil person that grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory of your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, to be graciously pleased to grant that those renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be God. God. Prayer to Saint Michael. All the night for the Archangel. The divine praises. Bless be God. Bless be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of the human name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Great Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, the Great Most Holy. Blessed be the Holy Man of Conception. Blessed be the Lord.